Hey guys, I'm Aruna. Welcome to Nutritious Japanese Daily Meals. Come on, channel new days for shot. Today, I'm gonna be making miso soup with tofu and deep fried tofu. For Japanese, this taste is very familiar and comfortable. I'll introduce the most common ingredients today. And I'll show you how to cook Japanese soup stock for vegetarians. So let's get started. Here ingredients 50 grams of chicken tofu, quarter of deep fried tofu, some spring onion, 2 tablespoons of miso, 2 teaspoons of Japanese sake, 2 cups of water, a handful of bonito flakes. I'll use 4 grams of kelp instead of bonito flakes for vegetarians. First, I'll make Japanese soup stock from bonito flakes. Put water in the saucepan and heat it. Turn down the heat before the water starts boiling. Add bonito flakes. Cook on low heat for 10 minutes and strain it. Next, I'll show you the method for vegetarians. Put water and the kelp in the saucepan. Leave it for 20 minutes. Put on low heat. Take the kelp out before the water starts boiling. It brings out more savory flavors if you heat it slowly. Then I'll prepare ingredients for miso soup. Cut chicken tofu into 1 cm cubes. Cut spring onion into 1 to 2 mm lengths. Put deep fried tofu in the strainer and pour hot water. We do it in order to get the oil smell out. Squeeze lightly and cut it into 5 mm stripes. Pour soup stock in the saucepan. And add Japanese sake. Put it on high heat. And add deep fried tofu. Turn down to low heat once it has boiled. Place a strainer over the saucepan and drop on the miso. Dissolve it using a spoon. Add tofu and cook until it warms up. You shouldn't boil miso soup. If you let it boil, it will lose some of its flavor and aroma. Turn off the burner and add spring onion. It's all done. Thank you for watching the video. I want to make the world healthy with Japanese foods. I upload my video every week. You can cook a set menu for a meal if you watch it for a month. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and go to my website for more information. I'll see you guys again soon. Alright guys, then